Welcome. We are Harald Sack, Mahsa Wafoyi, and Sasha Bruns, and this is Knowledge Graphs. Welcome to lecture number four, Ontologies as Key to Knowledge Representation. What are we going to do in this week? In the very first lecture, we will have a look at the history of ontology from Aristotle to AI. We will explore the definition of ontology in philosophy and then we will move on to see what ontologies mean in computer science. And as you will see, it's crucial that we have a good knowledge and command of mathematical logic. Because without mathematical logic, we are not capable of really creating formal knowledge representation upon which we can really draw conclusions, formal conclusions. And this is really important. So therefore, in the next chapter, we are trying to demonstrate you the crucial role of mathematical logic. So we will follow with some excursions, in the first of which we will have a recap of two kinds of logic, propositional logic and first order logic. And we will see first order logic is rather powerful, but in the other hand, it's rather unhandy and not the right tool to deal with formal knowledge representations. There are smarter ways to do that. And one of them is called description logics, which are small fragments, but expressive fragments from first order logic, powerful enough to cope with our requirements for knowledge representations. And then afterwards, we will introduce the web ontology language or OWL to you and show you what abilities it has to describe an ontology. And of course, we go from simple to complex as always scaling up with all will be then covered in part four of that lecture. And to unlock the full potential of all, we will tell you about, you know, ways to define semantic expressive restrictions on properties, on classes and all of that. And by that, of course, you will get a good command and knowledge of the web ontology language OWL. 